Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this is Beard Marvel coming to you in real life. Uh, why I'm coming to you in real life is because um, over for the over the week of the Christmas, I had videos recorded for gameplay. I just couldn't edit them because uh, ultimately my PC ended up going kaput. As you can see. Um, and I'll tell you why it went kaput, but again, the PC, whatever in here, a lot of components fried. I'll get into that real quick. Uh, but first, let's go over here. Let's start Let's start unscrewing this. This is the first time I've unscrewed it since it fried out. And uh, I should actually get my plates, my metal, metal plates, um, so that way I can put these guys in a magnetic bowl. So let's go ahead and unscrew this for the time being. And I will show you what happened. All right, let's get this thing and let's set this off to the side. Hell yeah, off to the side. Okay, so um, basically what happened and let's see if I can get this in here. Basically, I can't see it from that end, I don't think. Let me move my mat here. All right, this is a little bit heavy sitting down, um, but this is the power supply here, right here. This is the power supply, and what I end up having was it over voltage my freaking uh, motherboard, and a lot of opponents went frying out of it. So with that power supply, it literally went ahead and fried a bunch of stuff out. So. Um, basically from what I understand is there's a limiter put on a 12 volt, one of the 12 volt rails. There's like four of them in a power supply from what I'm understanding. I did a little bit of research, but not too much. Um, just to get an un understanding of what happened. And what happened was the fact that one of the limiters that, uh, if your computer tries to draw too much voltage, it limits it. Well, that failed. And so therefore the uh, power supply uh, voltage spikes inside the motherboard, which end up literally frying a bunch of components out. The GTX 1080 is gone. Um, I'm gonna see if I can try to fix it. I've never fixed a GPU before, but um, yeah, we can always try it. Um, my hard drives, I have no idea if they're fried or not because I haven't boot this thing up to see if they're still intact. But, um, let's go ahead and let's, let's go ahead and take a look out of, out of everything. Okay. Um, let's basically remove the panels. We're removing the panels here. Sorry about the shaking of the camera. Camera is attached to the desk. So whatever movement the desk makes, the camera makes. So sorry about that. Let's get all four screws. I got two of them out. Let's get this one out. Okay. And so we got the front taken out. We got the uh, second side taken out. Let's put this back with the other tempered glass. There we go. As you heard, dink. Okay, so basically this is the system that I have, okay, so therefore I have a one terabyte hard disk drive. I got two drives of SSD through the SATA 3 uh, cables. Uh, one's a 500 gigabyte, one's a, ter a one terabyte. Uh, the 500 gigabyte is the 850 EVO. The one terabyte is the 860 EVO through SATA. But I'm not going to make that mistake twice. Here, let's see. Uh, yep, I have it here. Good. Um, I do have the brand new, oh, and upside down, 970 EVO Plus. I have this, oh, it's upside down, yeah, again. 970 EVO Plus. I know it's kind of backwards from what I see in the camera, but okay. Well, anyway, it's the NV, NVE, no, NVMe M.2. VNAN SSD. Co connects straight to the motherboard through the M.2. Uh, but NVMe non-volatile memory express card, I want to say, or is it expansion card? I don't know. I have to look at the acronym and see what that was, but I think it's an express card. Um, if I am wrong about that, please correct me. Um, but from what I understand, this is a one terabyte drive. It will 
um, do a lot better with everything, especially when it goes off the boot. So that would be my boot drive. Um, so everything will be better. So, uh, yeah, let's like take a look at the other side of the other side of the case. All right, there we go. All right, so basically the only thing I can tell from what I know is the thing, the thing um, I saw a couple sparks in here when um, I was playing a video game and it literally fried it. I mean, it turned off. It hasn't been turned on since and it won't. I don't know what's happening. From what I can tell is motherboard might be fried. In order to test it, I need components. I need parts. And so therefore, I did. I need a new power supply effectively. So, here, let, wait a second. I'm back. It only took me a few moments, but uh, I have, as you can see, I have a bunch of boxes right here. Um, so I need new components to test out whether, what component is fried and what it's not. So, therefore, I got the R390E gaming motherboard. Um, brand new motherboard for the, a new PC build. I got a brand new, well, here, let's, let's put it this way. Okay, right here. I got the RM, uh, RM1000X, which is a 1,000 watt supply versus the 750 I have inside the case now. So I'm future-proofing myself. Okay, so we got a 1,000 watt power supply. And then, of course, instead of the GTX 1080 that I did have in here, I went with a GeForce uh, RTX 280, okay? The 280, it's a ROG Styx Gaming, and it, it has three fans. It is the Super, which, from what I understand, a lot of people told me I wasted my money on this, which possibly I did. Um, the 280 Super doesn't have that much more performance than the 270 Super. So for $200 less, I could have had something that was pretty comparable. But I did get the best, though, the 280 Super. So, and they're all still in their packages. What I'm waiting on, what I am waiting on is the brand new uh, CPU that I got going it's still on its way. It's supposed to be arriving in a few hours. Uh, it is the i9-9900K uh, for, from Intel. Um, I thought about going AMD, but since I already have an Intel, I'll just keep with Intel until I'm ready to make the switch. But I, And then I have this, the 970 EVO Plus, which is not cheap, by the way, for one terabyte. Uh, what I paid for one terabyte for the best... I could have easily got two uh, terabytes for cheap uh, for something that is pretty comparable, but not that. But I wanted the best. All right, so as you can see, I got a little bit of dirt down there. But again, that's not even inside the case. That's the feet of the case. Um, but this is the inside of the case. I mean, it ain't too terrible. A little bit there, but I mean... Ultimately, it is a pretty clean case a little bit, um, considering I haven't washed it in some time. I mean, I've cleaned it out every, like, three months, but um, as you can see down there underneath the motherboard, um, you do have to clean a little bit there. But again, really isn't a whole lot of dust in this case. There really isn't a whole lot of dust. And let's check the back real quick. Let's check the back real quick, okay? So, basically got a little bit of dust down there. <laughs> All right, so I'm coming back to you guys. Uh, much, much later. Uh, I thought it was gonna be an hour or two, maybe three at most, but it ended up being a good six hours later. Let's see, no, I am wrong. A good seven and a half hours later. So, as you can see, we do have our brand new i9-9900K uh, CPU that just came in. We're going to, let me see, where is it? Right here underneath everything else. We're going to pair it with the ROGS 
Z390, I think it right. Yeah, 390. I had it upside down. Oops, my bad. Uh, we're gonna go with the ROGS Strix, the Z390E gaming motherboard. I love these boards. These are these are fantastic. This is what I had in my first build. My second one, I had the I forget it was the Acers. I don't know. It's the one with the eagle logo on it. But yeah, let's get opening this sucker. Uh, yeah, this is the power supply. Let's plug it in. Um, just gonna put stuff over here, over here. We're gonna plug this thing bad boy in and touch it from the time to time. I got all the cables, big bag of cables. So we'll put this off to the side for right now and uh, get this thing plugged in so that way we can remove all staticness from ourselves. If staticness is actually even a word. Staticness. I like that. Finally, building our PC. It's taken us a long time in the prep. Let's keep it on the motherboard, on the box itself, underneath a static mat. Okay? So the first thing is always first whenever I do this. Well, uh, owner's manual for the power supply can stay over there. I really don't need that. Um, that's the hard drive touch. <laughs> so... First things first, I always do is put the um, good thing I caught it. Put the uh, CPU inside the motherboard. All right, so we're gonna touch this. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm gonna touch my power supply now. Okay, so we're gonna release the tension arm, and we're gonna remove this piece. Well, actually, can we remove that before we do that? Yes, we can. So don't discard this. Always keep it. So we're gonna we're not gonna discard this. We're gonna keep it in my drawer for the meantime, but we'll put it back inside the box when we're done. Okay. So what you always want to do is you always want to release the tension arm, bring up the the holder, take this out. Um of its box, oh my God, look at that. You just tear it off. Ah, come on, get out of there, yeah. Okay, so basically, all right, so I don't wanna to touch nothing other than the head of it, but as you can see, there's an arrow. Yep, I'm right, there's an arrow right there, an arrow. There's an arrow pointing on your, bot on your, yep, right here, see on the, on the space, it's pointing right there, so, you want that arrow to match up with that arrow. So we're gonna put that down. And don't force it, just lay it on top and give it a good wiggle around. Yeah, see, good wiggle around. And it should be uh, in there securely. And then just put the cover down. You wanna uh, have it underneath that screw and just put the retention all the way down. So it's secure, it's secure. It's finally installed securely in there. Uh, but we're not going to put a heat sink on it right now uh, because we have the radiator that goes up inside of our uh, chassis and on top of that. But what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put this on there. But I don't think I want to put it on there. Just maybe, maybe I can put it on there now.
already in the case. Um, but I was doing an overhead shots and I lost all that footage. So, oh yeah, it's been a while since I had something to drink, which is nice. Um, but, um, again, not a paid advertisement. I don't get paid for this and I love doing this. So I do it on my free time. So take it with a grain of salt. So I did get that piece put back in. Um, now I can route some cables and whatnot all. So I got a big stack of cables right here from Corsair. And as you can see, oh yeah. Ooh, it smells like oil. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a bad smell, but it's a pretty good smell at the same time, if you know what I mean, when it comes to new PC. It's like a new car smell. MX-4 thermal compound looks a lot better it's arctic ac scan and win us 1000 every month okay so it's like a giveaway um here because this is what i've been using is the thermal flux and i got a, a good kit with that but i'm gonna give this one a try i don't need the spreader that comes in there because it makes no difference whether you um, spread it or not, in my opinion. All right. You don't need a whole lot. Okay, so I'd say that's plenty, if not too much, to be 100% honest. So let's plug this one back in. Okay, there we go. So honestly, I think that's a little too much right there. But I digress. So that's gonna be upside down. I'd rather have it upright. And I want I want the Corsair logo to be upright. Looks better in the PC case. As you can see, uh, I got boxes everywhere, my cable, my table's in the middle of the room, uh, light, you know, it. everything is in shambles right now. I mean, look at all this. My room is in shambles right now because I've been working. Yeah, my room is in shambles because I kind of been working around the clock trying to get this done. Considering UPS was a little late today. Yeah, they didn't get here until, like, way late. And then, basically, at their closing time is when they came. <laughs> uh, pretty much 9 p.m. And then I was able to get it. And now it is pretty much almost midnight now. So, it does take a couple hours to build these things. But, again, most of it was me uh, trying to get used to what is on the motherboard. Because, again, this is a 300 chipset motherboard, uh, 390, where I was using a 200 chipset motherboard from a different manufacturer. So things are different between each of the manufacturers. They don't always, they, things are standardized, but not too standardized, if that makes sense to people. Where you would find, you know, because you get things tweaked around here and there. And then, I like, one manufacturer, they'll leave the M.2s open and exposed. Whereas this one, ROGS, they put their M.2s behind shields, heat sink shields, which is kind of cool. But at the same time, it, I spent half an hour looking for it. And I had to resort to my uh, owner's manual. And then a bunch of these other cave uh, connections, I was like, what the hell? Where's the hell are these connections at? All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, we are here back in li literally the same video, but part two um, for me. I mean, it is morning after all. And um, yeah, I went upstairs and uh, just clonked out and uh, fell asleep on the couch. Ouch. Yep, just waking up and uh, getting the morning started with a bagel and some coffee, so. 
Now I gotta clean up everything here. As you can see, I did not clean up anything. Mm. So I gotta get the morning started. So, oh, I don't look forward to this part. I hate cleaning. <laughs> um, but, mm. but yeah, we need to clean out. We need to get this thing benchmarked. Well, actually, we need a post, and then when everything starts up, install Windows, and then go ahead and, uh, yeah, put everything back together and do some benchmarks and get to work. I am back, and we are here with uh, the whole setup. I have it powered up. Uh, not powered up, but powered on. As you see, I have the light on the GTX or RTX 2080 light, light, light up. I have the R, uh, RGB on the uh, motherboard lit up. As I plugged it in, it lit up, it all the way up. So let's see if it posts. Mm. I need to get more of this. All right, so one problem, my RGB on the top is not lighting up. Not a major issue. Let's see if it posts. I'm not seeing anything. Let's give it a second. Okay, there it goes. It posted. Yeah. For some reason, the RAM um, was doing... Okay, so... Um, so, everything turns on. Everything is good. Let's see, yep, there it goes. Um, F2. All right, so, all right, let's see what we got here. 18 degrees Celsius, which is good. Yeah, it seems like everything's good on the temperature and frequency. Um, yeah, what I have in my hands is a copy of my uh, Windows. I did buy a copy of Windows Home a while back when I did my first, um, PC build and I've been using it ever since on all my PCs. I've been deactivating the uh, PCs um, and then reactivating on a new PC because you have to do that every time you get a brand new uh, motherboard. But I know you don't have to pay for these now. Um, you can just have the operating system even if it's got a little tiny bit of watermark on the edge of the screen. So uh, but I still like to use mine because I, I like I don't like to have the watermark. That's my own opinion. All right, so we are back and we're benchmarking our newly built PC. Um, again, if you if you guys are just tuning in, um, basically it is a uh, i9 9900K uh, CPU with uh, was it uh, 3200 RAM, um, the Corsair. Uh, brand we, on the uh, Z390E motherboard and of course we have the RTX 2080 Super um, GPU and I'm just wondering where I'm sitting for um, for uh, temperatures wise for when we're doing our benchmarking um, and I want to make sure my PC is literally good to go before I start putting all the uh, tempered glass back on it as you can see i got three fans right here i got three fans underneath the graphics card and then i got two fans up here on the uh, radiator for the aio uh, water cooler so we're just gonna have to keep uh, benchmarking and we'll bring you guys back when uh we're done with the benchmarking we're also running two benchmarks by the way we're using this one for graphics and then I kind of want to use the run a uh, user benchmark. Um, the user benchmark is good to see how well your computer is uh, compared to other people's computers. So, um, yeah, we're just waiting for this to get done, and then we'll run uh, the user bench benchmark, and then we'll be you know back. We are back with the first benchmark. We are done with the heaven. Benchmark again. I got a score of seventy-one uh, fifty-nine, and uh, yeah, 
our max FPS was 518. Um, everything looked good. Our temperature got up between 53 and 54 degrees Celsius. So even under load, it didn't get up that high, which is great. Um, let's go ahead and save this benchmark. Okay, so let's close it. Let's quit because we're already done with the benchmark. Quit. Oh, okay. Now let's run our um, user benchmark right away. Okay, so now we're done with the benchmark from user benchmark. And as you can see, we're seeing a 117%, 118%, and 111% um, across the board. Again, uh, well below because we're only running at 3.6 gigahertz, which is just base clock. Really not utilizing um, any kind of overclocking. Um, we're above expectations. Yep, well above. Um, performing below expectation, which is, I don't know why, but I already ran this benchmark a, once before and it said above. So uh, take these with a grain of salt. So um, 860 EVO, above expectation. And then same thing they said before, performing way below expectation. I'm gonna clock that 2133 megahertz uh, for the uh, DDR4 RAM. Uh, it can, I have 3200, so I can clock it a little bit more to see if I can get more out of it, but uh, it, it's like three, four years old already, the RAM, so it might be time to upgrade it. But yeah, this is the PC build. And uh, so therefore I'll be able to close this up because everything is running good. Um, the GPU, CPU, I mean, everything's running good, even including my uh, fans. Um, yeah, everything's good, airflow is good. Um, there's really nothing else I can do to this PC except for maybe clocking it, overclocking it, and um, getting some more performance issues. Uh, but right now I got um, um, to put the rest of my hard drives in. Um, I have an 850 Evo I want to put in there, a 500 gigabyte. And then I also have a hard drive that I have on here. They're already attached to the case. They're not hooked up though. So I want to get that hooked up, restart it, and start in on getting my information where I need it, get everything solid, get all the filters and case, uh, the filters and the case together, and then uh, start hooking everything up, and then start, you know, going to work. So, all right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, go ahead. As always, we appreciate the uh, support. And as always, we're going to see you guys in our next video. Okay, take care and later.